guys, welcome back to my channel once again. So, um, itong vlog na to, it's just going to be about me talking about, you know, my feelings. Kasi I already finished my first year in medicine. And, I don't know, nung natapos ko siya, iba-iba yung feelings eh. There is this feeling na... Um, yung achievement, yung feeling na um, worried ka for the next semester and what's going to happen, especially na yung ating um, setup would be online. Most of the is most of the curriculum would be online, so I don't know if that would be really okay for me, especially. Um, yung mga lessons for the new semester would be entirely new. Kasi yung mga previously na inaral namin would just be second part of the, for example, second part of the Fisio from first sem. So technically, I am um, kind of aware of the topics that I'm going to study. Pero yung sa next semester na aking aaralin would be um, completely new. So, back to square one na talaga siya. So, I really hope that I would not adjust too much from uh, from that kind of setup. Pero, ayun, I have decided, kasi no una, parang I am not really confident to enroll, parang ganyan. I'm having struggles na sabihin ko, I, I, uh, would I continue? Or, mag ano muna ako mag leave of absence or some sort kasi parang iba talaga siya eh. ang iba talaga yung natututo ka from the, in, the, in the classroom and compared to natututo ka um, sa online lang di ba parang iba kasi yung experience kapag nandun ka talaga personally you're learning from your professors ano yung mga naging experience ko for my first year so ayun may mga ups and downs talaga when it comes to um, receiving your grades. So, <clears throat> for example, I'm going to talk about um, failures. Parang, uh, it's okay for you to receive failures, especially sa mga quizzes mo or mga major exams. But make sure na you would use these failures para makabawi ka dun sa mga next na exams mo. Kasi, uh, ang dami kong mga, like before, may mga subjects ako na Ang dami kong mga setbacks, ang dami kong mga naging problems, especially kahit mga uh, mini quizzes lang. Uh, naano ako doon, parang na, nasusok ako doon. Pero, ginawa ko siya as motivation para mas maging mataas pa yung grades ko for the next uh, quizzes. Para kahit pa paano, um, may mga, may, pun, may mga, may punder akong grades, or tango yung term, parang ganun siya. Para, when it comes to finals and midterms or mostly finals meron ka na naipon dun sa first part of the semester para yun yung pwede mong mapagkuhanan kapag kailangan talaga kasi finals will be really a bulk of the grades that you need for the for a semester so for example you really lack grades uh, sa prelims, midterms pa lang that would really be a problem kasi sa finals, for example, 30, 30, and then 40 sa finals, that would really be crucial. Kaya dapat mag-pundar um, mag, uh, ka na ng grades mo sa simula pa lang. Yun, first year would really be, yun nga, sabi nila, first year would be just the basics, the fundamentals uh, sa pag-aaral mo ng medicine. But it would still be hard, especially, um, Ano na to eh, graduate level na to. So, you need to expect. Um, so, parang, kumbaga, tataasan mo dapat yung standards mo, I guess. Expectations mo. And you need to, um, to think about kung ano yung mga gagawin mo. Kasi hindi pwede yung bara-bara lang. Like, you need to strategize. For example, there would be subjects na okay ka and there would be subjects na hindi ka rin okay so what you need to do is you di naman totally set aside those subjects na okay ka you need to do is um, maybe lessen the effort 
ng konte dun sa mga subjects na okay ka na. And you need to increase the effort dun sa mga subjects na talagang alanganin ka. And then when you reach equilibrium, equilibrium, dun mo na siya mari, dun mo na dapat um, i-maintain but better exceed yung mga naging setbacks mo. You need to do better for the next time. So, ayun, make sure na i-balance out mo yung mga weaknesses mo na o yung weak uh, yung weak part of the subjects and then yung strong part of your subjects para kahit pa paano masurvive mo talaga totally tong, yung semester na inaano mo, tinitake mo. And of course, you need to celebrate them. For example, you um, you finished the first semester. You need to celebrate. Para kahit pa paano, oh my gosh, I survived. Para iba yung boost na makukuha mo in order for you to have motivation to continue dun sa next semester. Kasi every semester would be parang next level sa isang game. It would be uh, extra hard and talagang um, extra effort din yung kailangan mong gawin. Especially yon medyo crucial for, medyo ano sa akin yun, extra ka ba sa akin itong second semester because this would be the, ano, a crucial part for me or a stepping stone pala for me to proceed to the next year. Hindi, na, hindi lang siya next semester eh. You need to proceed to the next year. Kaya talaga sabi ko, come on, do this. Kahit, um, yun nga, extra hirap kasi online, nag-adjust yung school, nag-adjust ka, ang dami nangyayari sa mundo. So, you need to focus and you need to, um, yun, i-focus mo yung sarili mo dun lang sa kailangan mong aralin and dun dun sa um, kailangan mong gawin. You need to finish that first and then doon ka makipag-deal sa ibang mga bagay sa mundo after you finish that. Para kahit pa parang focus mo nasa iisa lang. So, ayun. Um, alam ko marami sa mga nanonood who would be already applying for first year. So, I would be um, doing an, an, doing um, another video doon sa mga magpa-first year sa FEU and RMF. So, if you're interested, um, hintayin nyo na lang yung video na yon. So, ayun. Thank you for listening sa aking um, mga experiences, rants, and whatsoever uh, with my first year experience in med school. So, marami pa naman. Marami pa naman akong gagawin na related sa first year. And, uh, nakaplano na rin siya. So, stay tuned na lang kayo, guys. So, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope that you like this video. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye!